Are we going to witness a supernova explosion of Betelgeuse, the massive red supergiant in Orion? Astronomers like Brian Cox are now on red alert as the James Webb Space Telescope takes stunning pictures of a very large red star, 764 times more massive than our sun. The fear is real, and the question remains, when will it come to the moment of its supernova, and what consequences will it bring to Earth? Now, let's look into the specifics of it. The famous star, Betelgeuse, is located in the constellation of Orion and is well known for its brightness and reddish tinge. Already, the ancient people had it in their mind, and the Greeks even remarked on its color, which was orange. It is the second brightest star in the constellation of Orion, and one of the most glaring stars in the celestial sphere. Lately, the scientists were surprised by an observation of Betelgeuse. Back in 2019, it started turning off and on, surprising for such a bright star. What was unusual was that the brightness of the star decreased more than normal. Scientists became worried and thus began their exploration. Following the thorough examination, it became apparent that Betelgeuse behaved oddly. The brightness of Venus decreased to about 1.6, and this magnitude is smaller than the previous one. This sudden dimming was a surprising development for the formerly 10th biggest star in the sky. Scientists are, however, worried and have even predicted a terrifying outcome if the current signs persist. Astronomers, Brian Cox, for example, are warning that this star will have a supernova tomorrow. Brian Cox, a particle physics professor at the University of Manchester, who is well known for his sense of humor, lays out the gravity of this prediction. Cox, who is primarily known for his work in engaging the public in science, thinks that Betelgeuse is like a clock that is ticking and ready to explode. The James Webb Space Telescope is the source of the most extensive data that also supports this critical reminder. Betelgeuse, a star close to 15 times as big as the Sun, is a candidate for a supernova explosion. Generally, a star should be around eight times bigger than the Sun to be recognized as a supernova. However, the scientists have been using such tools as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer. Gravitational Wave Observatory to keep track of Betelgeuse's activities. The most recent studies have put its star as a supernova with explosion times unpredictable. Scientists from the world found out that the James Webb Space Telescope and other instruments detected the interesting kind of light waves from the Orion constellation, particularly from Betelgeuse. This finding is, in this respect, an additional piece of the puzzle and a part of the mystery surrounding the star and its destiny. In the past, Betelgeuse, a famous star which is also known for its regular pulsating, used to follow the pattern of becoming dimmer every 430 days. Six years ago, everything was all right, but now it is different. The star began pulsating rapidly from bright to dim, with the period being twice as fast as before. In February 2021, scientists detected something very unusual as the star faded in magnitude to plus 1.614 following a major event in 2019 when the star became dimmed, known as the Great Dimming. Astronomers got worried that Betelgeuse might go supernova within the next 100,000 years due to the Great Dimming with the dimming range of 1.2 magnitudes between 2019 and 2020. Moreover, the star Betelgeuse, after the Great Dimming, surprisingly got back its brightness and became 150% brighter than it was. It currently holds the seventh position on the list of night sky stars, which has sparked up quite a debate among astrophysicists such as Andrea Dupree from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. The red soup in the southern hemisphere of the sky is the reason for the many hypotheses which seek to explain the cause of the great dimming event. The red luminosity of Betelgeuse is what makes it stand out of the crowd as a red supergiant, the very last stage before a star's death. In contrast to our sun, which has a larger size and is hotter, our planet receives less energy per unit area overall. The cooler surface, 3,500 Kelvin, of the red giant is distinct from the sun's 5,500 Kelvin surface, and this feature distinguishes the red giant from the sun. 
Next, we are to talk about the Great Dimming and whether it indicates Betelgeuse's supernova explosion as Brian Cox mentions. Like all red supergiants, Betelgeuse is just in its final stage before it fades away. Reducing the brightness is a natural process of a star that is about to die. Nevertheless, weird behavior in the last few days has added scientists' fears considerably, and they have conducted very extensive research. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful space telescope, has proved to be a great tool in the study of the supernova activities of the Betelgeuse, giving scientists invaluable information during this exciting event. One of the main uses for these telescopes is to solve the riddle of the red supergiant star, which is considered to be on the edge of supernova explosion. The James Webb Space Telescope is a primary tool for this research. It is able to examine the cosmos in regions of the electromagnetic spectrum that others can't, focusing on infrared radiation. This allows them to understand the reasons behind the variation of the brightness of Betelgeuse. These observations include the capture of clear images and spectroscopic studies. The clean and sharp images of Betelgeuse are definitely useful. These images reveal the surface of the star, as well as the gases and dusty clouds. Such a contribution makes the scientists more accurate in their forecasts about the star in the future. ALMA, an observatory situated in Chile, is also indispensable. It gives high-quality images so that we can see Betelgeuse structure and behavior. Astronomers noticed a giant gas plume from the star that was an outcome of its pulsation caused by the convection process. The hot gases are rising and the cooler gases are moving down, thus the star is expanding. The most striking feature of Betelgeuse is the dark spots on its surface, which are clearly visible in the gap where the magnetic field is strongest. The magnetic field acts as a trap to the gases and gives rise to the concentration of the magnetic fields, which is most likely to appear as dark spots. Due to this, the atmospheres of these objects, which are the cooler areas found on the surface, are cooler than the gas flowing from the star's core to the surface. The Betelgeuse star, a supergiant with dark spots covering about 20% of its surface. This is why it is dimmer when the spots are bigger. Scientists, it is generally accepted, are anticipating it to end in a catastrophic supernova. This is when a star reaches an end of its life and expands, giving out a high-energy radiation. The strength of Betelgeuse's radiation is much higher compared to the sun. Supernovae, it is a dangerous explosion that X-rays and blast waves with fast particles are released. These particles can destroy a planet like the Earth, there are two types, massive supernova events and thermonuclear runaway of white dwarfs. The consequences of spacecraft getting lost in space go way beyond space itself and they even endanger planets. The closest supernova to us is 25 light years away, and hence the possibility of it ending life on our planet cannot be ruled out. But the distance of 640 light years between us and the Betelgeuse, it is not a direct threat to us. Betelgeuse, a supergiant red star, is currently generating curiosity among the scientists. It is an important step in which they can see the final stages of a star closer, something that they have never done before. Dr. Sarah Webb, an astrophysicist, points out that this is a one-of-a-kind experience. The astronomers are now able to observe this happening in Betelgeuse, which has given them more details on how big stars act before they explode. Though there won't be any serious consequences of the Betelgeuse explosion for Earth, it will surely be visible for more than a week. The star will become so bright that it will possibly become visible even during the day, casting sunshine-like shadows. Along with the bright lights, scientists hypothesize that the explosion will also trigger a flood of neutrinos on our planet. They will not affect us, but they can be detected by instruments located nearby. Betelgeuse has already lived a fast life when compared to an Earthling's life. With a time span of 14 million years to the present, it is much more recent than our 4.54 billion-year-old Earth. However, some scientists, such as Salvatore Vitali from MIT, believe that Betelgeuse may blow up in the near future, but this is not certain. Light waves that arrive at us might not be from the Betelgeuse star, and neutrinos need to be seen on Earth for the explosion to be confirmed. Finally, 
the exactness of Betelgeuse exploding is impossible to predict. Fortunately, researchers are paying close attention to the way the situation may evolve. What do you think about this topic? Leave your thought below. Now you're here. Click on the video on your screen for another space adventure.